Hey guys, Dragon here from MuseShop.net and today we're talking about the Equid e-commerce Muse widget. This widget allows you to integrate a fully functional e-commerce online store into your Muse website. It's one of the best solutions for selling your products and services online without having to worry about how it all works. And Equid lets you open up your own e-commerce store with up to 10 products completely free. They also have the paid version of the shop, which allows unlimited products and unlocks other features. So make sure to check out their pricing plans. In our widget, we are demonstrating the free option with 10 products. Our widget contains four components for your online store and those are uh, the shop, the categories, the search box and the mini cart where the shop itself is the main component, the categories, where you can assign your products to one or more categories, the search box, a really handy component that lets your visitors search through your store, and the mini cart is also a handy component for minimal and modern looking websites. First and the most important component is the shop. When dragged on the page, it looks like this. And here is the live preview of the store on our live demo. Basically all you need is a blank page in Muse and our Equid widget. You don't need to create individual pages for products, logins, search results and so on. Once you drag the widget on the Muse page and export your HTML, Equid will take over and the shop will work within the widget, generating all other required pages. So if I click here, you can see what I mean. And you can see over here, this is generated by Equid. The shop itself you set up on Equid website where you create your own Equid account, your products and I will talk about this in a few moments. Let's go back in Muse and see the other components. The second component is the categories component. The free plan on Equid lets you create up to two categories. This widget is most suitable for Equid Pro users who will probably create lots of categories and this component helps you achieve a sidebar look like over here where we have the categories widget right next to the shop widget. The categories will also automatically generate based on the settings of your store that you made in Equid. If we change the demo over here, on our second demo, we have the categories component in use. And when you click on a particular category, it will display all the products assigned to that category. Next, we have the search component, and that is our third component. And it's also present on this demo. Let's give it a try. I'll type in something over here. And when I click search, the widget displays all the matched products, if there are any. This is truly an awesome function for Muse, to have a search option present on your website. And finally we have the mini cart component, that's in our third demo. You can see it over here. And the one cool thing about this component is that it will automatically get rid of the Equid default shopping bag, which you could have seen at our first demo, and which in my own opinion is not exactly a marvel of modern design. If we click back on demo 3, much better, right? Okay, now let's go over the option for each of the components. For the main component, the shop, First, you have the store ID, and for this you'll need to create your own store. To create your own store on Equid, we've gave you a link over here which leads you to Equid.com. So if we click over here, we'll go directly to Equid.com, where you can sign up for your own Equid account. So click sign up, and here enter your full name, email and password. I'm just gonna fill this up with my own dummy information. And let's click create account. We'll land on this page which you can skip. And as soon as we registered with Equid, we received our store ID over here. Now, I won't go into details on creating your actual store within Equid because they've done a marvelous job with that and it's super easy. You simply have to follow these links over here and insert your own information, products, images, descriptions, as you would normally do. And once you've finished, you don't even have to do it right now. You can simply follow the instructions for our widget at the moment. So what we needed was the store ID over here. 
I'm just gonna copy that and once we have our store ID we'll go back into Muse. Here I'll open the widget settings again and I can paste in my store ID. But since we've already created an example store, we'll just leave it as it was for now. If you did by any chance create your own products and if you paste your store ID over here, when you export the HTML or when you preview your website, it will already have your store displayed instead of ours. If not, don't worry, you can go back to Equid and finish creating products later. For now, we'll move on to other widget options. Next is the background color. We've added an option for you to change your shop background color and to override Equid's default. It's initially set to be completely transparent, which is recommended, but you can turn the opacity back on and select a different color if you like. We recommend uh, using very light shades of colors if you do use a custom color background, because stronger colors and dark colors will require you to modify the CSS and to adjust the text brightness to suit your dark color. So we'll keep this transparent. Next we have the options for categories and search results. You can choose how the categories and search results are displayed. They can be displayed as a grid or as a list. On our homepage demo, the categories in grid view is the first thing that loads which you can see over here. Note that categories over here is meant for this component and not for the categories component. Again, a list option over here and especially the table option is recommended for the pro users who have a lot of categories. The same rules apply for the search results and finally we have the categories per row option. This feature is also best utilized for shops with a large number of categories and it defines how many categories will be placed in one row of your grid. That's it for the main component. For our categories component you have to insert your store ID then we have the background option and the background opacity same as we did in our first component and we have the border color and that's this line over here now the search component is my favorite component because I know how much it means to give your site this capability and the cool option is that you can design a completely different page uh, something other than the shop itself like a home page or about us and so on and if you drag this component on that page, take a look what will happen. Let's delete this too and preview. Now imagine some other content here. And if you click search, you'd probably imagine that it would completely mess with the elements of the page. But take a look. It actually opens a light box display for your search results. Nice, right? Yep. A completely awesome light box display generated by the widget and you didn't have to do a thing. Okay, let's go back to the search component widget settings. We have the store ID, then we have the paddings. And for those who don't know, padding is the extra space between an object edge and the content that populates the object. In this case, we're talking about these two objects and the text that populates them. You'll notice vertical padding and horizontal padding. And you'll notice the paddings are also available for your search button. The best thing to do is to apply the same vertical padding and then to adjust the horizontal padding the best way you see fit. And what the padding will do to these two objects is make them actually look a bit larger. Let me show you a practical example of what can be done with padding. I'll move this down and I'll also enlarge this a bit. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna set the vertical padding to 20, which is the maximum allowed. Remember to give the same vertical padding for both the search box and the search button. And then I'm gonna give like 30 padding for the search box the horizontal padding and I'm gonna give let's say 40 pixels over here for the search button horizontal padding and now that we have this I'll resize this back like so now when I drag that over here okay and now let me show you a kind of uh, hidden feature I said kind of because we did this on purpose. We wanted you to be able to edit the widget's text property the same way you would edit any other text element in Muse. And because of that, it may look that this step is not a part of the widget when in fact it's the coolest one. While the widget is selected, I can open the text menu and choose the font type and size, let's say play bold 24. And look here, it automatically adjusts to your widget. And now we have something. Let's preview this. Now we have that look that the cool shops are using. Instead of this color, you can put some image over here and add some custom content below and it would make an awesome custom homepage for your site. And finally, 
we have the mini cart. All you have to do over here is paste in your store ID. And basically what the mini cart does is two things. It lets you get rid of the default shopping bag if the if the shop component is present. And secondly, it lets you get the mini cart capability on your normal pages, non-shop pages such as about us, content, portfolio and so on. So, we've gone over the entire widget tutorial. If you have any questions, make sure you visit the equid.com help section. They have great instructions on how to achieve the best results with your e-commerce. Also, you can visit our frequently asked questions on museshop.net and contact us through our website. That's it. Have fun selling from Muse. Thank <laughs> you.